Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome back to Lathtopia, now easily controlling a quarter of the map. In today's video, I think it's time we get a little bit silly with our designs, because I have two ideas, one of which I think may actually be really good, and one of which... I think won't be quite as good. So the first idea is bombers, but bombers on the spider legs. The idea is the bombers themselves aren't too heavy, they don't require too much on the craft itself, and so we could have a very, very quick assault force which is just spamming bombers, because the bombers were incredibly effective in the last season, but we used them way, way too late. So I would like to see a different version of them. Let's see if we can put them onto some basic movement parts, the absolute minimum on the craft, and then just send it off and see how it does. Now we could also just make a tiny little air carrier which simply holds the planes, but I would rather have spider legs. The second of which, which is also spider related, sorry for those with arachnophobia, is this. Robotics. Mech spiders. They're boarding spiders. How have I not used them yet? Seriously. So I really want the mech spiders, and I really want to try out smaller bombers. Oh, maybe we should just make flying bombers. That would be easy. And by bombers, I meant to say carriers. You get what I'm trying to say, I hope. So that's two things I really, really want to try out. I don't know which one. Yeah, maybe making tiny little aircraft carriers would be the better idea. Well, this has been an intro, hasn't it? Me deciding against the thing I'm trying to explain. So, first of all, we're going to grab the minus white for our steel armor. Then we're going to go over to bombers. And then, well, we'll see how that goes from there. Now, I've got to be honest, there's not much left in terms of this campaign. We are doing incredibly well. Our enemies have been crushed over and over again. And I think it's for the best to just take over the southeast side of the map. Uh, zealots, what am I currently building? I'm building a pyre over there. Uh, definitely want some more pyres, as they are quite a good, useful general purpose craft. With fire, which is always fun as well. I make two there, because that's one of the large... Shipyards, tiny shipyard, large shipyard, also make a couple more of the Overwhelmers, which are also doing incredibly, incredibly well. Now, yep, you're a combo, so the combo piece over here can go over here. Oh, yeah, there's all this stuff. Hmm, maybe we should try and kill the mad scientist. There is only room for one insane dictator on this map, and that's me. I'm the insane one. So, Mr. Ma uh, Miss Mad Scientist, Person Scientist, I would like to see how it would be the best way to destroy you. I'm thinking, now a lot of people said this, that what we could do is send in an attack force with a rammer, essentially taking out the tower as soon as possible, since that tower absolutely butchered us before. So... Maybe we should do that. Let's design a quick ramming vehicle. That would be a great thing to do. Or we could just build the, one of the ramming vehicles which are already in the game. But that would be boring, so let's make our own. So, design ship. Design ship. Thank you very much. So we don't really need all that much. We just need enough lift so that we can attack forwards. Um, there is a spike ram. I like the spike ram. Let's go with that. It's a bit like a nose. Uh, so for lift... I don't care if this thing is a bit frail, so... Yeah, a couple of pressurized tanks is probably what I'm going to go with, so... Um, yeah, how are we going to do this? Do I want any weapons? No, I don't really care about that. We do, of course, need to be able to move, though. So I'm thinking engine pods, similar to the enemy we fought at the start. We could go with a large propeller. Large propeller plus a single engine pod. Hmm, not sure. Either way, though, I want it to be incredibly quick. <laughs> so that's one of the derpiest things I've ever built. Oh, look at the name this thing has. That does not help masses. Um, you're just the derp, derp, the derp, derp. Yep, yeah, the derp, derp. That makes it Okay, yeah, your service ceiling is way too low. That could be because of the engine part, or it could be because of the sails, or it could be because the rams are really heavy in this game. Like, I understand they need to be heavy, they're meant to be incredibly sturdy, but wow, they're heavy in this game. Yeah, this spike ram is 900 weight for this tiny thing. Um, we do have the smaller rams, I suppose, but that's... 
even weirder looking. No. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's so stupid! <laughs> Fine, good enough. Okay, I'm hoping that service ceiling is high enough, and I'm not even going to find out. We're just going to build a couple of them, because we can. Let's build two of them, so at least we have one spare in case one instantly gets killed. You're a zealot, you're a zealot, you're probably also... No, you're an overwhelmer, okay. Uh, you're going over there. No, you're not. You're going over here, okay. Is everyone else building stuff? Okay, we do have an overwhelmer and a pyre ready as well, so I think you should just go over here. Oh, look at you with your double bases. Let's even take out that, please. Oh, lag from the autosave, I assume. No, because of this. Really? See, that's just annoying. Oh, look at you invading. Lots of tanks. Lots of tanks. Well, it's night time, but we should be absolutely fine. So, Mr. Bernie Face, go right there. You go as low as possible to maybe avoid a couple of shots, so I guess like there. You, accurate fire. You, burning the burn face. Bullseye, really? You think? It's not particularly easy to miss with a flame. That's rather glorious. And I'll take that over. Thank you. You can run away. Like the little coward you are. And I'll take over there. Well, I say coward, honestly. It's probably common sense when the giant Bernie thing is coming at you to avoid the giant Bernie thing. It burns, you know. Oh, look at you attacking me as soon as I've went away. Now I'm upset. And you're probably dead because of that. Good call. Good call. Genius. Um, let's go with you to begin with. You two can merge. There we go. And let's see how the mad scientist likes this. No, 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 no. Merge. Merge. Wait, wait. Thank you. Now all of you go. I am terrible at giving commands. Go! Well, this is what you get. Me not moving close enough. Okay, there we go. Victory, and you run away, and I'm going to chase you. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, God, that hurt to say. I couldn't help it, though. It's like a voice was screaming in my ear to say that. You're going to run away again. And now we own Prampk. With minus four income. Why do you have minus four income? How do you have minus four income? Either way, apparently we need to get rid of this. Okay, so idea is you... Try to burn these robots. Okay, I think I'm going to lose these because I think the tentacles steal crew members. So I don't think this will survive. But either way, you get nice and close so you can rapid fire. You try and burn them and you need to be on line with their weapon. Oh, here's a question though. Is this like the Kraken in the- Oh, look at the little airship. Oh. But is this like the Kraken in that the weapon itself isn't actually there? So doing this would be useless. So instead I should attack here. That's Guaranteed to do damage, so... Whee! There. And the other one, I think, should just fly over and get ready on the other side. Because I can't send them both to the same place. Could try and hit here and here. I think that's probably the best. Okay. So begin. Uh, you rapid fire. You ram. It looks like movement, but don't worry. It's actually ram. It just gives you the same options. Like there, I guess. And you get your butt there and get ready. Make sure we're both targeting the same target. Uh, move a little bit closer so your flames aren't working. And bang! And your weapon is gone. 
Thank you, commenters. You were perfectly correct. Goodbye to the tower. That was easy. Well done, little ramming vehicle. You win the day. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, fire. <laughs> wow, it took out the um, suspendium chamber. We still detonated both. Okay, I need to start using the fire doors and stuff, don't I? Because otherwise, that's going to happen every time. It was a flaw with the fire I did mention before. Are you, like, stuck? Yeah, you kind of are. There is one problem with the ramming speed in this game. It seems like everything just gets stuck to each other like glue. Da 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 da! Though rams seem really powerful though, at the same time. Like, seriously, you just touch something and it detonates. Victory! As your troops level the crazed inventor's lair, they find a sizable treasury which is added to your own. Ha ha! Glorious. You're welcome, citizens of this particular empire. The Lathrixons have saved you. Please hold your applause, hold your applause. Let's grab triplanes while we're doing that. Um, what next then? We own this. Pramp is costing us a fortune. <laughs> Pramp gone wrong. <laughs> Oh, I am delirious from lack of sleep. You attack Northwest. Right, Northwest X. Northwest X. Hmm. It was Northwest. Now it's Northwest X. Because it realizes it's sort of in the middle of the map. But no, it's, it's quite on the north. I mean, that was the equator. So let's see. Now, with the fire doors, I don't know if they do protect against explosions. They obviously protect against fires because, well,. That's kind of the whole point of their existence, but they don't say about explosions, but I've been told by a few people now that they actually do. So I am really, really curious about that. I'm hoping it shows on the overlay. That would be so nice if it just gave a clear, oh, by the way, it also does this. Because otherwise it just doesn't tell you it does that. Uh, so, um, lift. Give me one. No, not decorations. One of the explody boys, please. Thank you. Let's say that. So that gives 133 to that. The next block will get 66. And let's just say I replace this with a regular block. Still says 66. Yeah, so I don't know if it is actually the case. It helps with explosions. Either way, though, when one of these goes down, both of them do. Essentially, this craft is just too heavy. I really do like it. It's definitely effective. And it's hard to kill because of the heavy armor, unless you have specialist weapons like the scientist ones. But, um, yeah, it is definitely one of its weakest points. Now, if I put this here, that will also slow down the crew. That's the problem. So I don't know. Maybe I should just use regular blocks as well, rather than the struts. That help? I don't think armor on the outside actually helps with that either, so it's a bit... I don't know. I think... It would just require too much redesigning this light in the campaign, but it's at least something I'm think I can think of in the future. Just these, just I don't know. It's a flaw, but it's not a game-breaking flaw with the craft. It still works. We could put some heavy steel armor on them. That would mean that they would be much harder to kill. It does, though, lower our service ceiling quite a bit. But that's going to be very difficult to kill with the heavy armor on. I don't know. For now, I'll leave it. We can always change it later. Let's see what type of vehicle you guys are using. Oh, brigands are attacking us. Maybe we should focus on these guys. Oh, that single brigand there. I would say you're brave, but we have, yep, we have no defense. So you can just win. I'll kill you guys later. Hello, Northwest. Just surrendering? Fair enough. Fair enough. Rocket towers. Kind of like the ones we saw earlier, but a yeah, a little bit different, I think. That's cool. Pyre, please go a bit lower. Thank you. Ah, the sun is in our eyes, I guess what we should do then is leave it like that, then you can move over here. You get nice and close. Maybe some of their explosions will even hurt themselves.
I don't think the Overwhelmer is really needed here. Nope, it was certainly not. Just keep on attacking, all is well. I'm assuming you'll surrender. Excellent. And this area is ours. Now what else is there? There's a second mad scientist. I wonder if it's the same one. As in the same tower and stuff. That would be interesting. We should have our fleet over here. Just needed some repairs. Okay, yeah, let's get some repairs and then we'll attack the next scientist. In fact, what we could do is go on a bit of a hunting spree. Finding the animals of this world and attacking them. No, the monsters of this world, therefore they're not animals. And the thing I said in the previous video is true, and I am not evil. I am the good person. I am a good guy. You can trust Lathrix. Always trust Lathrix. Hmm. Can I see many interesting ones? I saw dragons, but I don't think that will win against the dragons. Oh, yeah, the wasps. They're still a thing. Stone Guardian. Let's go for the Stone Guardian next. Good. Try playing. You know what? Maybe next video we'll do the bombers. This video has been hunting things. Uh, yeah, invade that. One more of our places have just revolted. Did they take one of my one of my vehicles? That's just me. That's truly revolting. Badumts. Didn't expect you to be so much faster than um the pyre there. Yeah, that was a bit annoying. Hello! Golly gee, I do so love fire. Today we're just, we're just um, bullying things. Bullying things and stammering. Also, look how much money we have right now. Bombers! Glorious! There we go. So we have that now. And I would also like the thing I was saying before. The mech spider. So I need the aerial torpedoes, which means I need turrets. Okay. Ooh, that's a design I haven't seen before. Look at you with your cannons. Oh, are those heavy cannons? No, I think they're regular cannons. They're grape shot. Let's find out. Yep, grape shot. Wee. Accurate fire, whoever you are. Who are you? Is that a muscular or a rifle? Don't think it really matters. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we somehow won this? Hilarity is not going to ensure. Um, well, too bad. Lol it. Lol it, really? Uh, don't need zealots. I kind of want to fight that with zealots just because. Ooh, or perhaps double pyres. Or perhaps the usual. Cr Fine, the usual group will attack. I mean, it has grape shots at least, so it'll be quite good against this. Just probably not good enough. Uh, you, rapid. Hello! Hey, yeah, grape shots are nasty. Excessive fire is uh, nastier. Okay, is that group repaired yet? Where are you? Monster killer group! Okay, you can go against the Stone Guardian. Turrets are grabbed, so let's grab heavy turrets, because why not? Wait, no, because we want mech spiders, so we want this. Why did I grab- oh yeah, because I need that. I know what I'm doing, I am smart. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, What are you? I, I don't know what to- sure. Sure. Burn its knees! You two, ram forwards, please. You... Follow it in a second, you get closer. Ooh! Purple. Pink. Pinky purple. Magenta. Aha! Did that even... <laughs> well, that was... <laughs> that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> Just... You know, I think the ramming worked. <laughs> oh. 
Once the Guardian has crumbled, your troops examine the area and find nothing of note. Some scholars suggest that there is a particular geometric or religious quality to the place, but there is nothing of actual use. Yep. Geometrical, rather. Dyslexia. Okay, uh, you guys return home. I mean, you're not really dead. I mean, the laundry survived, aren't really damaged. We could try and fight the wasps, but I doubt we'd win. Because they're all about boarding, aren't they? So, none of these have anti boarding stuff, and you're a rammer for Pete's sake. You just get killed instantly. There's wasps everywhere on this map. Yeah, I think we need to fight the wasps. Okay. The pyre might do okay, because the flamer can kill the boarding crew on the way, but probably not well enough. Let's just try it anyway. Hello. So, I don't know. I mean, the boarding crew... You might as well go in reserve. No, you'll, you'll be a distraction at some point, I'm afraid. We need to do as much damage as possible, so although it's a bit silly looking, I want that to be as close as possible to do rapid fire. You get behind it and try and do a ramming attack, I guess. So, you... Rapid, you move forward and start burning. You get your butt over here. Good, the, the distraction's working. In that case, um, derp derp, just stay over here. Uh, pause, just you move a bit closer. You know what? You you move closer as well to make sure rapid fire's hitting. You continue to do your little dance. I mean, that is a lot of damage hitting them, to be fair, with that fire. Got such high DPS. Ah, okay, ram forwards in a second as soon as you can. Ramming speed all the way over here. Oh, boarded. Oh, that's dead. Derp, derp. You were a valuable, valuable asset in this fight. How much health does this nest have? Literally burning it with fire. Fire and lots and lots of cannon shots. Please say those wasps aren't coming back. Nope, no, yes they are, yes they are. Okay, I'm sorry, um, Overwhelmer, but I think you're about to die. Keep firing. I, the only chance I think we have is just to completely do as much damage as possible. Yes! Take that! Stop killing our crew, your hive is dead. Please stop. Oh god, it hurts. Oh, we just got aerial torpedoes, which we were just about to research. With their hive crashed and broken, the remaining wasps soon run out of power and drop from the sky. Your empire scientists examine the sophisticated control mechanisms of the wasps, developing a new weapon out of their insides. Thanks, wasps. I mean, I kind of had the stuff anyway, but thanks, wasps. Oh, look, the derp derp survived. It's just the crew who is dead. And those brave crew who just died. Dragons. And the problem is the dragons are agile enough to keep on dodging the Overwhelmer and their fire will totally set off the pyre's um, weak points. So, is there anything else other than dragons? Let's see if there's anything else of interest. We'll do the bomber in the next video, uh, the aircraft carrier, and that'll probably be the last... Oh, giant spiders! They're boarding as well, aren't they? But fire. But fire. But fire. Hello, giant spiders. So, you're going to board this straight away, obviously. You get behind them and try and ram them. You stay close and just fire. Go with the rule of just as much damage as possible. Uh, as low as possible, please. Why do they always go after the ramming vehicle? I mean, it's okay for us, but it seems a bit silly. Charge! Thank you for the help! Oh, that did a lot of damage. Seriously, rams are really powerful. I should use them more. That's it, burn the spiders! Oh, spiders. Yep, that's what I wanted you to do. Ramming Vic! <laughs> Why? 
I guess your order was still standing, wasn't it, to move over here? So there is friendly fire with ramming. Who knew? You defeat the giant spiders and burn out the last of their brood. These lands are safe again. The local townsfolk offer what savings they have to repay you. Yeah, I've lost some of my flamers now, though, dum-dum. Uh, return home. Get repaired. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else of interest? You know what? I am going to build the carrier in this video, and very well it may be the thumbnail in the title. Who knows? Because I want to see how good that is versus the Sky Kraken. So, design ship. Honestly, this is likely to be a very simple design that's going to take up very little time, but there's so much weirdness happening in this video. What do I even title this? Yeah, a bit of a hyper mood today, can you tell? How about four bombers? Like that. Bit expensive, but sure. Then all we need is just something to carry them, and that's pretty much it. So... Yeah, I think flying versions of this are better because they can stack better than the ground forces. Although the spider leg version would be a lot quicker. Let's do a flying version for now, we can always change our mind later. I've always kind of wanted to use these upside down, but I eh, don't know. Okay, so... It's weird because I'm thinking, do I even want weapons on this thing? We don't really need them. This is all I really want, I want the bare minimum. The obvious thing to do would just be to build behind and in front of these, because you can indeed build on both sides. Tada and Tuda. But we could build directly underneath them. Or we could build, yeah, above them a little bit. That would look different at least. Or just underneath them like a spike or, hmm. Sure, Lathrix. Build above it. You know the one area you literally can't build? Yeah, let's do that. So, I'm going to go down the route of balloons this time, because I do absolutely adore them. Now, how am I going to do this is the question. Because we do need access to these. So, what I'm thinking is... Darn, that is such a shame. Although, it's hard to tell that end section is even there, so we could just do this. Lovely, and then we just add the corridors like this, and I'm hoping, does that all count as connected? I believe it does, lovely, because who wouldn't trust a landing strip on the top of a highly explosive balloon? I know I would. The thing is though, these are all, connect these are all connected to each other as well. If I do this, that's not the connection point, so as long as this doesn't have enough explosive power to destroy this, it just sort of doesn't. These don't really do all that much damage. Let's have a quick look-see. Explosive damage? Yeah. By the looks of things, I'm not even going to hurt them. So, I'm assuming this is correct. Let's see. Do these hurt things above them? No, they don't. Only below them? Oh. Um. Okay, that's odd. I am fairly certain they do detonate each other. I'm going to blindly believe that, and it's probably wrong. If I'm proven wrong, I'll simply change it afterwards. Now, where am I going to put the bridge and everything? I'm thinking of just putting the bridge here, just having a small... Yeah, small gap, which will be more corridors, like so. Then we can have the bridge and all the crew quarters here. Being very much a blimp here, honestly, which I'm fine with. Do I want these? We don't need them, but do I want them is the question. We could go like this, but then I'd look a bit weird of so many on top. Hmm. I don't know if I like how this is turning out, honestly. But these are definitely the easiest way to make things cheap. Maybe we just don't need all of them. We could just have... You could just have one. I mean, that's enough. But then all this is just open, which looks really, really, really weird. That doesn't look the worst. Also, that is heavy steel armor. The very first craft we use heavy steel armor on is this. Going to just ignore that fact is kind of sad, really, since I don't think this is a particularly high effort build by any means, and don't worry, it's not done just yet, but still. But look! Stained glass windows! How very beautiful. So, what's the difference between steel armor and heavy steel? Well, for a start, over double the weight. In fact, significantly over double the weight, yep. Exactly double the HP, and then exactly double the blast, and double the pierce damage resistance. That is 
kind of insane considering how well steel armor has been doing. We could easily make some super heavy tanks with that. Speaking of which, I think in the future, if I do win the most difficult version of this game, which is going to be the next season, I think there's two options I want to explore. The first of which is a tank only run. So we can't use airships, we have to use ground forces. Ooh, that looks weird. Neat. The second of which is a modded playthrough using the various mods currently available in the workshop because there are loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. How about it's like that? I don't like using the filler blocks too much. They're just, they're very heavy. Ten white. A piece of corridor is only three, and the only difference is a tiny little bit of HP. Yeah, only uh, eight HP? Yeah, eight HP difference. Not exactly much. On top of that, the filler block is more expensive. Now, this extreme price is because it is counting it as using heavy armor. Which I think is factoring in with the white. Uh, wait, no, I don't think it is. Let's have a quick check. If I swap over to wood. No, it doesn't factor in the white. Okay. Boop. A bit wasteful, admittedly, but that does look better. No, or does it? Hmm. Not sure. Let's keep messing around. Though that is really nice. Having the keel does mean everything just got a HP bonus, so the keel might be a necessity. Well, not a necessity, just a nice addition. Though I am seeing the price of this thing get way too high. I just don't like doing the minimum, that's the thing. The minimum would just be this little section here, which I'm highlighting, at the back here, and a couple of balloons. That would be the minimum, and probably the best, because as soon as they've released the, the um, bombers, their job's essentially done in this fight. I don't even want to bring ammo with me, so I haven't got any basic weaponry. Hello there from the future. So I'm just testing out something just after recording the whole video, and it turns out the design we have at the very end isn't that bad. Well, it's inefficient, but it's not the worst thing in the world, but we do end up losing our aircraft sections whenever we lose the balloons. To fix that, we could simply do this. So we have corridors on the top, which all connect up. It turns out losing the connection points is one of the big problems, in addition to having them directly attached to the balloon. So this fixes everything. So you can lose all the balloons, but then all of the expensive parts don't get destroyed, and then you simply repair the design. Then if you did that more efficiently by not having the most expensive armor in the game and not having all this stupid stuff, it wouldn't be the worst design in the world as a support. So with that, continue the video past Latherix. So I'm just going to call this silly thing the Boombringer. So during the battles, I'm not going to be judging it by its price because we could have made this way cheaper, but I just like how this looks. Essentially, we're just going to be checking how well it does. We can make much cheaper versions in the future when we're trying to be serious. And for a start, we can use, you know, non-heavy armor. It seems a bit silly to use the heaviest, most expensive armor and then incredibly frail balloons. On top of that, we're we are mounting our most important section on those explosive balloons. You get why I'm not taking this design too seriously, but it should be quite fun. So, save design. There we are, and build, and I would like to build lots of them, because I want a whole fleet of them to see how they do together. So I've decided to go one less bomber per balloon. The idea is they can only send out their aircraft at a certain speed. So splitting them up into more craft means you're sending out the bombers quicker in the fight. So if they are incredibly frail, for instance, if we do go down that minimum route, it doesn't matter if the main aircraft dies after that, as long as the, the bombers have already been used. That's the idea, at least. And we're going to send them versus the Sky Kraken, because why wouldn't we? Okay, you're a tiny shipyard, you're a large shipyard. Uh, you two pyres, you can move there for defense. And I would like you to start building more of the Boombringers. There we are. That's so weird. Can you see what's wrong with that portrait it gives? This is the front, but the planes in our place are now facing backwards, so it's flipped everything except for the plane's orientation. That's really weird. 
That is really, really weird. Okay, you move over there. You can build one more of these. Okay, we're all building. And so we just wait. I think we have essentially won this again. We are at the point where I'm just not really paying attention. I'm just being silly, having fun. But it was interesting nonetheless. I'm hoping the more difficult section will mean these will continue to be a threat. Early on, I loved the fact there are more designs now. I just feel like it was a little bit disappointing after a certain point it becomes a bit too easy. So I'm hoping the harder difficulty will just absolutely kick my butt. Also, a lot of people did suggest perhaps going with um, tech level zero. I don't actually know what that does exactly, so I'll test that out after this video. It's certainly before the next um, season. Speaking of new designs, there we are, look. This faction, which is using the close quarters craft and the tanks, is now using the largest flamer, eventually. Good to know there's still more designs to see. Okay, I'll simply surrender that, no real care there. Um, you guys, yeah, you can take that back almost instantly, can't you? The sun is in our eyes and the ramming vehicle is going to hit a ramming vehicle. Well, it's going to be curious, to say the least. Ooh, flamer versus flamer as well. This is going to be very odd. I am fire because of the sun. Um, just ram that way. Hopefully you'll hit something. Yay! You hit something. You served your purpose. Flamer Wars, go! Yeah, mine is better armor, I'm sorry. I love the fact you evolved your craft, though. That was nice. Yay! Our cannons now also fire faster. And now our sailors are about to become a lot cheaper. Boombringers, go say hello to the Sky Kraken. Ooh, heavy turrets. Lovely. Uh, computers next. Thank you. <laughs> I think I may have brought too many. They're just going to be killed as well because they're all clustered. But you know what? Sure. I'm not even going to give them a command. Just... Ooh, I love how those lights look in the dark. Wow. <laughs> that looks awesome. Stop eating my blinds. That's it. Eat, eat the crew instead. <laughs> we lost none. Okay. Um, gonna split you guys up a little bit. Let's just send a couple of you versus something. Uh, let's say you three. Let's send you to start invading the north. <laughs> that was such a silly fight. <laughs> it really was. Oh, pirates! Well, that's just mean, isn't it? Where are those pirates? Just stole one of our craft. Ooh, the Overwhelmer. Um, well, at least it's night time, so the Overwhelmer's less accurate. Do that, because you will probably fall on each other otherwise. Uh, yeah. I mean, these actually look pretty cool, don't they? I've got to be honest. <laughs> I actually really like how they look. On the upside, the Overwhelmer has no rifles or anything, so it can't shoot down the bombers. I don't know if I feel good or bad about that. Yeah, where are the pirates? There they are. They're going home, which is over here. Attack the pirates. Computers! Lovely! We are now in the computer age, aren't we? Just fantastic. Ooh, the pirate king! Ooh, god, that's a bit more than I expected. Um, also, it's us being blinded, sadly. Uh, don't know what to do here. I'll focus on one, at least. I'm hoping with the extra HP, at least the balloons can survive a few hits. Why do you never target who I say to target? Okay, that didn't destroy that. I'm just checking to see if they destroy the OW airstrip. No, they don't. Excellent. Come on, Bomber Swarm, I believe in you. would help if the enemy didn't have flak. That's cool.
Oh, it looks like it actually might destroy the airfield. That would make sense. Well, at least we've learned that as well. Still, the value look, and they survived better than I expected, considering how much the enemy had. Guess we really should kill the Pirate King. I wonder what the Pirate King gives. Um, all of you boom bringers, go and destroy the Pirate King, please. Hi again, Pirate King! Fortress. Just lots of money. Okay. Now, there are giant bees. A swarm of giant bees has built a hive here. Let's go and find out if the bees are, are identical to the um, wasps in terms of how they act. Okay, so problem is that rock is right in our way, so one of you is going to need to run past. You, run past, move there to begin with, then I'll move in. You just move forward. Yeah, it seems like it does send out the bees. Forwarding, forwarding. Ooh, there's a lot of them. That's a lot of bees. Oh, yep, yeah, we're losing a fair bit of crew there. 27, 26, 25, 24. We've lost command. Just keep, there we go. Burning wins the day. What do we get? Delicious honey. Yep, float honey, in fact, is what it's called. <laughs> so, I think, yeah, that does destroy the aircraft. It makes sense, it just didn't show in the explosion. So, there is definitely a lot more to the explosions than just that stat, and I need to do some experimenting to figure out exactly how it works. Wow, these guys have taken over a whole area. Maybe I should start being a bit serious over here. What kind of craft do they have? Whoa, look at you! That looks... Weird! I like weird! At least they can still fly on um, only one balloon. Oh, Gatling guns. They're going to take out a lot of our bombers. However, they just crushed themselves. I mean, bomb spam works, but of course it does. So, we didn't really learn much today. I just had a bit of fun. We explored the different um, creatures on this map. And honestly, again, it was just a lot of fun. Don't take the, the design seriously today or anything like that. This was just a very sleepy Lathrix's attempt of... Attempt at trying to do something entertaining. I didn't take a good minute break there to try and come up with that. So with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I have had a lot of fun messing around like that. But in the next video, I think we're going to make one serious design and then probably call the season, taking out the North here, the last stronghold of the enemy. So next time, I would like to know your feedback. What type of setting should I have for the next conquest? Obviously, we will be going to the most difficult setting but then there are settings with the monsters there's the tech levels and stuff like that I've definitely listed those before a few times and I've showcased them at the start of this season so please tell me how you feel about that so if you have enjoyed then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that airships conquer the skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future thank you so so much for watching and goodbye. Also, I wonder if we move these planes up by just one and just attach them to struts, if the balloon wouldn't kill them. It would probably work, honestly. The balloon's explosion doesn't seem to hurt things all that far away. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.